Hey guys, it's Obviously Dagi the Baker. Today, it's my first video, so I decided we should make some simple chocolate chip cookies. Now don't forget, before we get started, to leave a comment down below, subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. So let's get started. So I went to the store and I got some Betty Crocker chocolate chip cookie mix. It's one of the simplest ones to make. I cut off the top here, but as you can see, it's one of the simple ones. It already has chocolate chips inserted in. It's super easy, super simple, and that's why I love it for my first video. To make this recipe, you'll be needing a stick of butter, one egg, and my little special touch, which is absolutely optional, is vanilla extract, and my favorite thing ever, chocolate chips. They're so yummy. So I have an awesome baking instructor, and her name is Jojo, and she taught me an awesome trick. So let me teach you that one. So take your butter, take the wrapper off, put it in the microwave for just 20 seconds, and then if you don't want to get your stand-up mixer out, I'll put it in your bowl, put it in the microwave, Set it to 20 seconds, and then, without the wrapper, you can be your own stand-up mixer. Ta-da! What happens, happens about after 20 seconds of some microwave and mixing, and this is what we want. Now, you don't always have to get it this melted. I think I did a little bit longer than 20 seconds because I wanted this. Now it's your choice. So now we're going to beat the egg in a separate bowl. Really, when you're beating up the egg, some people beat, that's it. You want to beat the yolk, not the, the um, other, the white of the egg. You want to beat the yolk, and that's what we're trying to beat. That much is good. You don't want it too much. See, yeah. this is everything we need. My chocolate chip mix, my butter, my beat up egg, a third of a cup of chocolate chips optional, and a tablespoon of vanilla extract, also optional. Now we're ready to put everything in our mixing bowl. I'm gonna start with the chocolate chip cookie mix. Put this in here. Now, let's just give it a quick whisk. Now, we're gonna add our butter. Just keep this on clean. But just keep going with that till we have all of it out. You want to get every last bit of this. Now, we're going to add our egg. Now, we're going to add our a third of a cup of chocolate chips. Now, we're going to add our tablespoon of vanilla extract. And now we're going to give it one now, big one. If you want your parents to let you bake again, make sure to clean up your surface. So I'm going to stop right now and do that. I'm going to gently place my dirty dishes into the sink. And then I'm going to take my trash and I'm just going to set that in there. And if your parents want you to wash the dishes, do that later. Just focus on the basic stuff for now. Stir, stir, stir away. If needed, you can add some vegetable oil, but mine might be needed, but I don't think for now, because I haven't fully really got in there yet. You want to really get in there like this. This is a part where you'll probably need your parents' help. So I've got my amazing dad to help me right here. All right, so all I'm trying to do here is make sure that this is all mixed really nice and even. All right, but Ava is my teacher here. So Ava, am I doing okay? Yes. All right. A tablespoon of oil to make it a little bit more moist. And oh my gosh, even as it's still mixed, it's so hard. And that oil really like did a little something, something. So my dad has a nice trick he wants to share with you guys. Okay, so sometimes when you're baking or cooking, you have dishes that are gonna get sticky by the time you're done. So one little trick is if you put a little bit of detergent in each of your containers, okay? Just a little tiny bit, and then fill them up with water. That way you don't have to wash them right this second, but when you come back to them in 20 minutes or an hour, or even the next day sometimes, guess what? They're not gonna be all sticky and hardened up, okay? That's a cool little trick you can use. So we're gonna preheat the oven, but you must have an adult 
continue. For this step, my dad is going to be right here like he has the whole video, helping me by my side I, um, as a nice father. And we're just going to preheat this oven right here. Every oven is different, but on mine, this is how you do it. We're heating to 375. So you're going to be needing a flat tray and a bigger piece of aluminum foil than your tray. So let's put that on. Just sliding all the sides out. Perfect. Now we're going to put some oil on our pan. Perfect. Now, for this next step, we're going to be touching the cookie dough. So we're going to have to wash our hands very well. Just like an ice cream scoop and put a little bit of oil to make your cookies as even as possible. Get a little bit of cookie dough right here. Kind of even out. Let's put that in the pan. Straighten it. And just like that, keep doing the rest. We're going to put our beautiful cookies in the oven. You want to flatten them down. Either way is fine, but I flatten mine down. I always have. And now we're going to put them in our, your oven. Now, if you are a little bit younger or any age below 13 or 12, make sure to get a parent's help. And let's put these in the oven. This last part, I think I might. And just close that up and leave it in there for 18 to 20 minutes. Make sure to check them with a toothpick when they're done. Now, we've finished our cupcakes. You can serve them on a plate, or you can serve them in the cute little Ava's Bakery cups. Let's take our cookie, put it in our cute little Ava's Bakery cup. And so let's put them and give them to the ones I love most. Hey guys, I've taken five of my best cookies and put them in my cute little box. Now, I am one of those new people to YouTube, and I would really appreciate it if you and your parents put this on social media just so I could get a few extra subscribers. So make sure yourself to give this video a huge thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, subscribe, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye. See you next time. <gasps> what are you doing? <laughs> Just making sure that um, this is uh, tasting good. <laughs> They're really good, Ella. Mm. Uh, excuse me. Uh -huh.